Hi, I'm Robert with Aquatic Life, and this is the Four Stage Auto Buddy Plus DI. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. So let me get you a better view here. Let's pull everything out. All right, so the first thing we'll notice is we have our RO Buddy. We have our sediment, our carbon, and the membrane housing here. We have our membrane, our DI cartridge, 20 feet of white tubing, and our parts pack. Inside of our parts pack, we have a filter wrench, two clips for the DI cartridge to go into the membrane housing, a faucet adapter, uh, a couple of screws to mount your RO buddy to whatever you want to mount it to, and some instructions. The first thing you want to do is remove the wall mount brackets from your membrane housing and go ahead and mount them to the wall. Depending on the surface, you may need to use different screws than the ones that have been supplied. Now you'll remove the shipping plugs. To do that, you'll take off the blue clip, push down on the white collar, and then pull out the plug. You'll remove the remaining two shipping plugs from the filtered side and the wastewater side as well. With the shipping plugs removed and the wall mount brackets in place, you'll go ahead and secure your RO buddy to the wall mount bracket. You'll attach your faucet adapter to a cold water supply line. And then you'll remove the blue clip here and insert the supplied white tubing. This is a double push fitting, so you'll enter it once and then you keep pushing and it'll go in a second time. Then go ahead and replace the blue clip. You'll want to measure the distance between your faucet adapter and the sediment cartridge with your tubing and then you'll go ahead and cut that accordingly. Now you can go ahead and cut it. You'll want to use a straight edge blade versus scissors because scissors will cause the tubing to crimp and you won't get a good seal causing leakage. The next thing you'll do is insert tubing into the wastewater and that's at the end of the flow restrictor here and then you'll replace the blue clip. The next thing you'll do is insert tubing into the filtered side here, and it's labeled filtered. And then you'll replace the blue clip and cut your tubing at the desired length. Before installing the membrane, you'll want to flush the carbon cartridge to rid any of the carbon dust. So go ahead and turn on the cold water supply. We're just about ready to install the membrane. Once you've installed the membrane, it's important that you flush the membrane because it is packed with preservatives. And you'll want to install the membrane with this black gasket towards the top. You'll remove the blue clip here, then go ahead and remove the blue tubing going into the memory housing and unscrew the cap. Once you have the cap off, go ahead and install the membrane with the black gasket towards the top and push that all the way down into the housing. Perfect. Once you've got your membrane in, go ahead and replace the cap. You can start by hand tightening it, but once you get down to where it get, starts getting tighter, you'll want to use the membrane wrench. We've gone ahead and reconnected the tubing, so now we'll go ahead and flush the membrane for about 30 minutes. So we'll go ahead and turn on the water supply. After flushing the membrane, we can go ahead and install the DI cartridge. So we'll remove the plugs here at the end of it. And then once you've got the plugs off, you'll go ahead and place these clips on the membrane housing, which will allow you to install the DI cartridge. So we'll put the clip on the housing here. And the DI cartridge is bi-directional, so it doesn't matter if the water goes in through the top and out the bottom, or through the bottom and out the top. So once we've already measured it out, we can place the tubing in the bottom of the cartridge and then replace the blue clip. The last thing you'll do is install tubing on the top of the DI cartridge and the cartridge is clear so you can tell when the media changes color and you'll know when to change the cartridge. For this and other products, visit us on the web at aquaticlife.com. Happy reefing.